Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thank you for joining with us. I have Marco Gritchitz, commodity trader with Stryker.com on the show with me today. He's coming to us from Croatia. Marco, thank you for getting up and or staying up so late to do business with us and be on the show. I, I really appreciate you being a guest on our show today. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, how are you doing I'm today? Good. I'm doing really good. Now, Marco, you have some great accolades because uh, you're, you're born in Switzerland, you're raised uh, and living in Croatia, but you have participated in the U.S. commodity markets and have participated in the Robbins World Trading Cup since, uh, I think, what, 2004, is that correct? Yes, I do. Uh, I've been trading for uh, 13 years. Uh, the last uh, five years I've been competing in the World Cup trading championships. Uh, I, uh, three years uh, ago I took fifth uh, and then second place. Uh, and uh, I do trading for a living. That was uh, my dream to be independent of the all let's say normal uh, jobs and uh, life to be free and to work on myself uh, to be able to to uh, create uh, what I like in my life so the trading is the uh, really uh, that uh, push me in all sides uh, and uh, I'm happy I can share uh, uh, with you about uh, it now, I've been trading myself since 1980, a little over 30 years, so I understand what you're talking about, but you have achieved a level that's very difficult for anybody to achieve. To get into the top five of the global community's ranking for your ability to win in one of the highest stakes markets out there, you know, is not easy. So today, you are going to talk to us about creating a strategy, software testing, uh, testing of your strategy, and money management strategies. Can we start with the how you look at creating a strategy and then how you go about testing the effectiveness of that strategy with software? Yes, uh, definitely. I will. I would recommend uh, to uh, take a lot of time for preparation, to read book and to go uh, uh, in many directions to be able to choose your own strategy. Then, when you uh, have a clue what is your time frame and your strategy, then uh, there are many good softwares that uh, allow us to to test those ideas. Uh, uh, and then we, uh, when we define our strategy, then I would uh, uh, do a pepper trading for at least uh, 9 to 12 months uh, to, to see how that strategy is working in reality. And then, only then, I would recommend to go with uh, real-time trading. So everything is in preparation uh, as uh, uh, in any area. So uh, uh, I would uh, recommend to uh, uh, for the new traders uh, and uh, the uh, experienced one as as, as well uh, to to uh, read the books uh, uh, from Larry Williams and uh, attend his seminars uh, where he uh, say a lot of uh, about optimal F in the money management. So uh, um, the system creation should be uh, uh, focused more on the system with the greater uh, with winning accuracy. So uh, if we, for example, if we have a system that is uh, profitable 50%, then we will have uh, about 10, 10 to 15 uh, uh, losses in a row. But we, if we create a system with 70 or 65 or 60%, then our winning, uh, losing streak will, will, would be uh, much smaller and then we can increase a little bit uh, our risk per trade. So uh, that's the double-edged sword uh, where uh, optimal, uh, high optimal F uh, or winning percentage uh, uh, should be in favor in creating the, the profitable uh, winning uh, uh, trading system. Uh, that should uh, be applied uh, in reality as well. You know, uh, the natural laws are working in all, all areas. So, 
uh, our system should be uh, uh, synchronized with all parameters from the uh, from the time frame to the uh, to the our stop losses and targets and uh, everything must be uh, synchronized uh, and uh, in step with uh, reality. Now, I've known many traders over the th past 35 plus years that I've been trading. And one of the things that I I've seen is um, some people trying to take their system that they develop and they trade everything that they that under the sun with that system thinking it works everywhere. You don't. You trade two markets, the bonds and the S&Ps. Tell me, why did you decide to, to focus just on those two markets? I think that uh, uh, that uh, the, the focus uh, is the main point uh, in uh, trading as in our lives. We cannot do uh, and be uh, excellent in uh, many uh, areas. We, we must choose and focus uh, our attention to the uh, uh, narrow uh, uh, specialties and uh, to. Uh, to, to be able to grasp the the the, uh, the uh, natural rhythm and uh, uh, to sp to specialize uh, everything uh, in according to the uh, uh, specified markets because uh, if we go too wide uh, then we are losing our focus and uh, we we uh, definitely uh, as uh, um, every person, every market is different, you know. Uh, so uh, my uh, diversification is through systems. Uh, I uh, create different uh, uh, systems uh, for the same market. So I try to, to uh, be in uh, tune with the, uh, those two markets uh, and uh, to find as many uh, possibilities uh, uh, that I back-tested. Uh, that and, makes sense. Uh, I get it. Yeah. What about the money management strategy? That's a very important component of trading. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in in my uh, trading, I use uh, uh, only system with a uh, uh, high win winning percentage. Uh, so uh, that uh, uh, is normal that uh, we have that our uh, average winning trade is smaller than our uh, average loss. Uh, but uh, uh, our uh, losing streaks are much smaller, and it's. Uh, much more easier to trade those systems because the losing streaks uh, are like normally two, three trades uh, up to five, uh, maximum six trades uh, of loss. So uh, our money management uh, must be uh, uh, applied to the worst case scenario that uh, uh, will ha happen uh, for sure. So. Uh, we must uh, see how uh, our system works in reality because I, I saw so many uh, systems that uh, were seems to be great, but in reality they don't just don't work. I have in my libraries many many systems uh, that I would would. Uh, bet uh, on that time that they will work but uh, when i test them uh, today i uh, see that uh, just simple uh, losing money uh, all that year so uh, it's uh, much harder than people think to be profitable on the long term it uh, must be a lot of effort uh, pushed uh, in, into it and to be uh, free and to learn and to put the uh, ego aside and uh, uh, to, to read and uh, research uh, in many areas. Uh, to be able to be uh, in tune with natural law that works in uh, uh, market as well. I uh, study uh, Sankhya at Kapila, uh, 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 vastu com. that's uh, all the ancient, ancient uh, uh, Vedic science uh, that uh, 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 defined uh, all natural laws so when we know the natural law and mathematics behind it uh, we can apply that in the market so everything is the play of 
uh, three uh, forces in nature that can be seen in uh, every area as, as well as trading. For example, we have uh, uh, commercial traders uh, uh, that uh, uh, really produce and sell commodities. Then we have uh, large traders and uh, small speculators who are the losers of the game. So it's uh, uh, simple that those three uh, forces uh, uh, are uh, can be seen in any area. So uh, with trading, so the trading is the art. Uh, it and. Uh, uh, it can, it, there are many uh, different knowledge that can be applied to trade. So let, 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 me, let me get in there in the conversation with you. So what I'm hearing is that you're using Vedic astrology based off of the suppliers of the natural resources. Vedic physics. Vedic, uh, Vedic physics. Vedic physics. Which is different than astrology. And then it's very similar. It's the, practically the same thing because uh, everything is vibration and everything right. is uh, based on counting, counting vibrations. Uh, and uh, that must be covered with logic. So uh, it's uh, uh, a holistic science that uh, defines all uh, natural uh, events uh, through uh, 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 vibration counting. Okay, got it. Um, vibration or wave counting, I understand that part. But you're not basing it on the, the uh, you are going to the deeper level by using that with the suppliers of the raw commodities. Is that, how does that, I mean, I get that for corn, I get that for gold, I get that for oil, but how does that apply to bonds and the S&P market? Uh, yes, normally, uh, for example, uh, commercials uh, in the SAP and bond market, uh, as it uh, ma is man-made commodities, are uh, the institutional investors, as banks, uh, large investments, funds, and so uh, and uh, etc. And uh, uh, we can see their positions. So. Uh, in any market, uh, uh, we know that uh, commercials are the winning of the game. So that, that's uh, knowledge of Larry Williams that can be seen in the graphs. So uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission every uh, week, uh, uh, every Friday, uh, publish uh, those uh, data uh, to the public, and we can uh, get those information. When we and when we see the accumulation of the sm smart money. Money, that, that means that this, uh, that uh, the winning uh, uh, players of the uh, game are entering uh, 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 on the uh, market, so can be uh, the good indication of, of the fundamentals in the markets. Okay, I get it. I get it. You're trading off of the uh, um, the commercial commitments. Um, yes. Up and down. Okay, I, I follow that. I've, I've had several people that do that, but I've never heard anybody applying Vedic, uh, Vedic physics, if you will, um, usually to that model. I, I understand. I can see how you can work it. I'm a longtime fan of using astrology for um, volatility and and pivot points in, in that position. Yes. So. Um, the, I, I understand how you're using it. I don't understand the mechanics of the intricacies, how I would use it, but I, I guess that's why you're there. Hey, I want to, Marco, we, our time is limited, but I want to thank you for being a guest on our, our show today. And maybe we can invite you back later so that we can talk about specific trades that you've used your systems with to be able to, to further bring out the examples of how you win in the market using your processes and um, your techniques. Would that be okay? Yes, perfect. Great. Thank you for uh, your nice conversation and uh, uh, I wish you all the best. We'll talk soon. Thank you, Marco. Talk soon. Thank you. You've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Thanks for visiting with us. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.